Take some colorful plastic eggs and glue the top lid to the bottom lid and apply some thin jute twine. Wrap the egg top with jute twine. Using colorful bendable wire, wrap the jute top in a circular but random pattern and then create a cute curly Q wire top. Have fun displaying your new fanciful fall acorns. Grab some pipe cleaners, fold each pipe cleaner in half, and then start to thread gold pony beads. Take two of the folded pipe cleaners and twist them around each other once. Take a third and then a fourth pipe cleaner. Gather the ends of the pipe cleaners together. Take some raffia, clip the tops of the loops, create three raffia bundles, and tie them to the base. Display your new colorful crafted corn. I'm going to start with this styrofoam plastic pumpkin. It's going to begin hot gluing and wrapping the pumpkin. Bring the other corner across. I do want to cut out a circle for the top first, so I'm just going to trace around on some black canvas fabric. And then I'm going to hot glue that around. So I'm going to add the glue to the circle that we cut out, cut a slit, and I'm going to push the barbecue your skewer through and this makes the form of our hat here just to create a little decorative finish secure the fur beard in place then I'm going to take a wooden bead for the nose and I work that under the nose as a little mustache so I'm just going to add some glue to the bottoms of those and stick those in place it is the most adorable turkey gnome I have seen this is a Dollar Tree waste paper basket. Spray it with rustic orange spray paint. Feed the string right through and then just tie this cut along the bottom of the bats. It kind of looks like a smile. I'm going to cut out a triangle and just press this right on. You're going to bend it in half. Take a pipe cleaner and pull it through really tight around. Give our scarecrow some straw hair and we will give our scarecrow a nice little hat, but I'm going to give him a little plaid bow. Here is our little scarecrow all ready to greet friends by the front door. I don't know about you, but I can never pass up these gorgeous gourds and just scrub off the mold, the dirt. I have put a few coats of crackling medium. Now I'm going to use a glue gun to create a pattern on the gourd. Drag it down and make a vine. Now we're going to paint the gourd and go all the way around your gourd. See the crackling process start to happen. I'm simply using a little bit of dark wax and clear wax on the entire gourd. For my second gourd, I wanted it to look like I dripped white wax all around the top. I even went back and put a couple drips on top of some of the other drips to make it. I'm using a dye made by Gourd Master and I'm putting it on with a shoe dye applicator and I'm just rubbing it on the gourd. It's time to spray them with a clear varnish. And look what you get, this beautiful tablescape. What you're going to need for this craft, of course, is a pumpkin. And you're going to need five wooden spoons and also a spatula. I actually found these at my local thrift store. The larger ones, I'm going to go and paint orange. And the smaller ones, I'm going to paint yellow. So after these are all painted, go and move on to the spatula. I'm using an off gray color. And after the gray has dried, I'm going to go and start to paint on a beak. And after the beak has been painted down, then you can go and paint your gobbler. Then go and paint some eyes. I use this fork that I painted as well to give my turkey just some little hair and make them look cute. Going to go and use a regular pumpkin carving tool, making sure that my wooden spoons will fit. So I cut out this piece and made sure it all fit. Two orange in the back and one yellow in the middle. And then I gave the turkey a little tie. I brought my pumpkin outside. You don't have to bring this pumpkin turkey outside though. You can always use it to decorate your fall tables. So I've just taken some floral wire and I'm going to go ahead and find the center of my pom-pom. Put a little dab of glue in there. Poke the end of the wire right into the middle of the pom-pom. I'm going to loop it back here and then I'm going to start bringing my sunflowers right around the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and add a second one and just keep going around the tree. It's time to add those super fun pom-poms. The last thing I want to do to finish off my tree is make a little bow for the top and I'm going to use this burlap ribbon and fluff it out a little bit and I'll attach that with a piece of floral wire right in the middle. I hope this has inspired you to pull out your Christmas tree early and decorate it for fall. I went to Walmart and I found this beautiful tool. Here is our dollar store foam frame and what we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces of cut tool and tie it in a slip knot right on top of this. So we're going to come back in with each color. We have 
the yellow we have orange black and red and we're going to just alternate between each so let's repeat that layer over and over again and if there's anything sticking too far out you can always just trim it up so i'm going to take the black tool we're going to just fold it over a little bit and this is the back of the wreath we're going to take a few floral pins and insert them then what you can do is you can start wrapping it with this beautiful black tool we're going to do one final wrap cut off the excess and then i'm going to flip it over create a little ball with all of that excess tool, take some floral pins and poke them right in. Now we have mini styrofoam balls and we're gonna use these for the eyes. Then we also have some of these googly eyes. Grab my glue skillet, dip a little toothpick in it and poke that right into the styrofoam. Then we can take another toothpick, grab a little more hot glue and create your little eyes. So I glued two toothpicks right into the base, take our styrofoam head and poke it right inside. Now we have our cute little eyeballs and we're just gonna poke them in. So now we have some yellow ribbon and we're just gonna cut off a little section of it and we'll just roll it up into a cone. Take a toothpick with a little hot glue on it and then wait for that to dry. We're just gonna apply some hot glue and we'll just place some. Cut off a little bit of red yarn and that's gonna simulate the waddle and place it on. And here's how our tool turkey turned out. I think it turned out so stinking cute and it was so incredibly easy to make. I picked up these three little wooden crates. So I've mixed up some brown milk paint that you just wanna water down. And I wanna make sure that I paint all sides and the inside. While my little crates are drying, the paint are these little gourds and pumpkins that I picked up at the dollar store. So I'm just gonna take some of this pearl metallic paint and I just wanna kind of brush it all over these just to tone this down a little bit. To hold these crates together, I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the ends and I'm just gonna slide them together and hold them while they dry. I wanna add some of this beautiful ribbon that I found. So I've gone ahead and made a little cut in the end just to make this a little nicer. So I'm just gonna start by attaching the straight end to the, to the one side. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, attach this down and around the end. And then we're gonna go to the other side. I want to go ahead and put a little bit of floral foam in each one. I'm just going to take my knife, mark off where this would hit the top, and I'm just going to trim it a little bit shorter than where that is. And I'm just going to use a serrated knife and cut right down. I'm going to put a little bit of the hot glue, just a couple dabs down at the bottom, and that will hold my piece of foam right down there in place. So now we've got our fluorofoam inside the crates and it's time to start filling those crates with some fall flowers. And don't forget we have those little gourds and pumpkins that we added the white pearl to and we can add those in as well. Once you have this with a nice amount of things in here, you want to grab some moss to finish this off. These little crates were perfect to turn into a fall centerpiece. It was quick and easy and I absolutely love how it turned out.